mean, uh, as, we're, as we were talking earlier, hard song, it's just... It's lost its edge. It's, it's yeah, it really has. But it's not just that, it's just the fact that, like, my issue with it was the, the, the seasons. I know I've told you before, but, I mean, the seasons only last a month. Yeah. That's really not long enough for a fucking season. Like, if you're talking competitive gameplay, you're talking at least three months per season. Yeah. Which is fine, because it goes with the, you know... It goes with seasons It goes with the <laughs> fucking seasons as well, yeah. So, I mean, it's it's more of the, the whole, you know, oh, yeah, we're only competitive for 30 days. Mm-hmm. But see, the thing is, because they actually do it on a monthly basis, they don't actually. St- I think they actually stick to. They don't actually stick to like thirty day equivalent. I think they actually stick to. Oh, let's see, we're in the month of May, so that's thirty days. Oh, look, we're in the month of February, right? That's twenty eight days. Yeah, I know they stick with months, but you know, the average it averages out. Yeah, but, but still, it's just like what? No, fuck it, that. It's just a pain in the ass because, like, I. It might, as whole, Total Biscuit put it perfectly, right? You, you get in, you get to, to rank 20, you sit there, afterwards, you get your card back, and you do it all over again. You know? So you're only literally doing it for, ooh, isn't this shiny? Because you're like, well, like, if you get a streak as well, it goes that little bit quicker. So if you get, yeah, if you win five battles, that could be you, rank 20, alright, that's it. That's that game done for the month. <sighs> Sound, yeah, thanks for playing. <laughs> I'll see you in fucking May. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It, it's that sort of thing. And I don't like I don't like it because it kind of... Well, first of all, it stifles the, the community in yeah. terms of competitiveness. It literally just goes, get to rank 20. Have fun. You know, they, they, they threw uh, a few other perks in there as well. I don't know what they are. Hmm. Because I never, I never really sought them out. I know they put in a few other stuff like, you know... You get extra cards or something like that. If you reach rank one or something like that. Right? Act, the higher up you go, the more stuff you get. So, like, if you got to rank, say, fifteen, you might get a common card. If you got to yeah, rank yeah. ten, might be uncommon or something whatever. Like anyway, I never, I never checked it out because I just went, "Ooh, isn't that card back lovely?" Yeah, I think I want that this month. Hmm. And I just it fizzled because there was nothing. There was nothing else at the time holding me. Now I haven't really played many of the tavern brawls. No, I've only you, played like you know one I mean? or two of them, so yeah. it's just like ugh. I played the the I played I think two matches with the the whole uh, Nefarian versus um ah oh, what's his face. Go on. I, can't, I actually fucking blanked on it. I can't remember his name. <laughs> Ragnaros, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like fucking. <laughs> I fucking played World of Warcraft for how long? And I you, on you, Ragnaros. You Jesus. went through Ragnaros how many times? Oh, fucking too many. Yeah, you tried to get his weapon, wasn't it? No, I just wanted to. Oh, I wanted the there was Obsidian something. Blades Edge. Yeah, you wanted something which, that was dropping off him. Which no, no, it wasn't dropping off him. I kind of just killed him because he was there. Mm. I wanted the Obsidian Blades Edge because uh, it reminded me of Soul Calibur. It reminded me of that, and I was um, I was happy enough just going along with it, just saying, "Okay, this looks amazing." I have Soul Calibur now. Oh wait, it's the size of fucking support being to a house. Never mind. I thought that was hilarious when um, because I'm on a role playing realm. And a lot of people are like, oh, is my sword shiny? It's like, no, no. it really fucking isn't. Because if you swung that in real life, I'm pretty sure you'd kill yourself. Yep. <laughs> yep, he would. But I, I I, dig that it's uh, the card game is based off of WoW. I yes. kind of think that's cool. Hmm. I'm wondering how the Elder Scrolls one's going to do. It will be interesting to see how they go. Of course but so. I think it will do well. It's Elder Scrolls. Well, so hope- at the start, it will be like... <laughs> yeah, with the fucking cliff racer screech. Yeah, that, that'll do. Mm-hmm. Um, I I don't know. I don't know, because I know they have like they have a shit ton of lore to go off of, right? I, I think they have just as much, if not more, lore than WoW now at this point. Well, in fairness, uh, the lore from Elder Scrolls, that starts... Like how many years from the start? Oh fucking hell! I don't know. You um, know, I do love the timeline of it though. 
The right. timeline's amazing. Seriously, and, and when when I pointed out to you uh, and a few other of our friends that it was um, <laughs> that Oblivion happened a month after Morrowind, everyone's like, "Whoa!" <laughs> Honestly, look it up, guys. It actually did happen a month afterwards. Oh, cool! But that was kind of awesome. It was it, interesting because it's just like. Wow! Yeah. So this actually is a completely different person, but yeah. I'm basing it on my character from the previous one. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty fucking much. And and that's the thing. I I thought it was hilarious that uh, Skyrim was like what fucking four hundred years in the future. Yes. And the buildings were still back in time. <laughs> what the fuck was I know. happening there? <laughs> and it's weird, all right. But it, it's strange. But I think it's it'll be a good card game because there's so so many different cards I hope that they don't do what Hearthstone did which is wait for too long to bring out new cards no if they bring out say a new pack like they bring out say 12 cards no a bit more than that 20, uh, 20 cards every month or something yeah. or every two months every two months I think they'd be doing good yeah yeah and then they get then they go and do the bosses then you know the, the way this one has raids or whatever I think that's a bit much because um, Blizzard would probably see it as encroaching on their territory and really get defensive about it well they would they would it's Blizzard uh, but yeah. th- I don't see how else they could freaking do it just as a flat out card game which I'm pretty sure they're probably going to do anyway yeah, I, I'm like I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen that way. Yeah, I think they will do it. Just, just oh yeah, it's gonna be a card game, but you get stuff. You know, you you get the, the like in like in Hearthstone, mm. you get uh, card backs or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but if you could, in say get. If they done a like a tournament and you won the tournament your picture they take your picture and you could be the, one of the card backs or something like that for actually, one of the months that would actually be kind of cool if I'm honest yeah that would actually or you have a logo or something yeah and you put that would actually be sweet yeah imagine and, and then it's just like oh, he's using my card back and he doesn't even know it's me yeah, yeah, yeah. that would be awesome <laughs> and you just chat with them and just like man I like your card back yeah I thought this logo was savage that's my logo no you were that guy yeah 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 that would be kind of cool do you know actually I've kind of just thought of it now and it, it makes a lot of sense Hearthstone is a lot like wow if you think about it because it was all massive at the beginning right mm. and it blew its load way too quickly oh hell yeah so like you had vanilla wow you had uh, TVC and you had Wrath of the Lich King mm-hmm. all amazing core parts of the game right then you had Cataclysm which just killed it oh seriously that went downhill like like people played it for the first little while but then it's like Pretty, it just died off yeah. because like they, had, they added they added like oh this like, amazing dragon it's like yeah but the rest of your content is fucking terrible like I mean they were supposed to do you remember uh, they had the Firelands right Oh yeah, they were meant to do a fire and water patch. Fire and water. Yeah, patch? yeah, it was it was supposed to be called the fire and water patch instead of uh, whatever they call it, something with firelands. Mm. But uh, they were supposed to do a water an underwater raid and a firelands raid, but they kind of did the, the underwater raid because the, reasons. I think the underwater raid was. Uh, the oh, what's it called? It's not the abyssal, no, no. No, it, but you know, freaking that shelf where the Naga were. Yeah, it was supposed to be. Actually, no, it was supposed to be in where the you know the last part of the the quest line was. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was supposed to be in there. Now it would be kind of cool if they brought it into Hearthstone and kind of done a themed like a themed. Um, yeah, you have to try. Tr- the boss is beat this Murloc deck. Yeah, pretty much. You know, well, you seen raid like that and stuff, you know, it would be great because then you have Nagas and uh, Murlocs, then you have the Abyssal. Oh, uh, do you know what guys I'm talking about? Yeah, it's kind of like the old gods sort of thing. Yeah, back with them because reasons. Yeah, there's there's a whole reason behind World of Warcraft. Mm-hmm. Well, near enough. Near enough. 
Warcraft is the reason behind World of Warcraft. Mm-hmm. Let's face it. And Hearthstone as a knock on effect. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hearthstone wouldn't exist without World of Warcraft. World of mm-hmm. Warcraft wouldn't exist without Warcraft. Here is it a storm? Again, probably wouldn't exist without Warcraft. Yeah, because this this is really what started them off, isn't it? Yeah, Warcraft really got Blizzard up and running. I have to admit, though, my first ever Blizzard game was Rock and Roll Racing for the Sega Genesis. I couldn't believe that when I figured when I finally figured out like twenty odd years later. Well, look, in fairness, it wasn't big. In fairness, it but it was very good. I th- it was great. I was fucking having a time in my life. I was useless at it at the time. Oh, come on, everyone was useless at that game for a good while. Yeah, but there's one game on that fucking con- and uh, I'm not getting into that. Not that. Not that <laughs> game. We've discussed this at length. I'm oh not- yeah, Aladdin. Fucking the- hardest fuck. game ever. Yep. Just like no, I can't do it. What? I've never seen anyone beat that. Game. I think I've only seen one guy beat it, and that's it. Anyway, but uh. <laughs> I digress. <laughs> I digress indeed. Imagine imagine Hearthstone as one of the hardest card games out there. Imagine that. Just if they up the ante and made it like the most difficult card game to play against the NPCs. The training was harder than the actual fucking battles. Do you know what? If they done something NPCs, if they were able to fuse cards. Like in that game for the PlayStation 2 with Yu Gi Oh? Mm. No, for the original PlayStation, sorry. Yeah. If they were able to fuse cards. What's that, Forbidden Memories? Why do I still remember that? It was ages ago. I know. Uh, I know, but it's one of those games. Yeah, it really was. It was kind of yeah. cool. But, um, yeah, if but they could do that, then I think, one, they'd have a fucking lawsuit from Konami. Yep. Two, it but, would make a lot of things difficult. And then you only had to play the monsters themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be kind of... Yeah. It would be difficult. Yeah. Fucking hell. It'd be like one of... One of their bosses that they have, I think it was from Max the Dragon. Uh, he freezes you, mm-hmm. right? There's one card on the on the yoke already, mm-hmm. and the dragon's ability freezes everyone on the field except the two cards that are right beside that block. <laughs> so oh God. you have to try and win with just two cards. So you're just sitting there going, you fucking scald. Yes. No, but you know what you have then? If you manage to do it, have tokens on either side. They're still destroyed. Oh, they're destroyed? Yes. So basically you have to keep two cards in the middle. Okay, right, Grant? Fair enough. One either side. <laughs> and if you play, like if you were a shaman and you played your two wolves, yeah, yeah, yeah. one of them would be destroyed because it, you can't place them either yeah, side so of the yoke it's automatic yeah. so one of the wolves would actually be destroyed while the other one safe I thought it just froze them oh. I thought I didn't know freeze them dead okay so they crumble oh yeah like a f- yeah like a bat out of hell I don't know I just bats think. don't crumble I know I, but you said yeah. I said okay never mind you said like a yeah, and no, it's just like, like a bat out of it's hell it's fine you took an initiative it was wrong but you took an initiative ah come on look do you ever s- you ever see that movie uh, Grown Ups? No, because I have somewhat of a taste in movies. No, it it there is one or two funny parts in it. They have had, Jesus, really? Yeah, one or two funny parts. Yeah. Holy fuck! I know, right? And uh, one of them dresses up like Meatloaf, but he has a fanny pack on. All right. And he's like, "Yeah, you're just like Meatloaf, and you have a fanny pack. Why oh, this and this? Pull that card. There you." Pulls the cord. Giant raft pulls it. Like a raft out of hell. Uh, that would really make me cringe. First time I heard that, I was like... <laughs> yeah, I would actually sit there cringing beside just going, oh, that was yeah. horrible. And do you know what the best part was? What? He was standing on the table and he's like, like a raft out of hell. And he's there like, yeah. standing there for a few seconds and then all four legs break. <laughs> Oh, Kevin James did that, didn't he? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> when you mentioned the table, yeah, no, Kevin James. That was Kevin James. <laughs> yeah, because it wouldn't happen to anyone else. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Here's a funny idea for an Adam Sandler film. He, it starts off him at the screen, him crying, and then he gets shot. End of film. <laughs> hey, good story. Does eggs split everywhere now with, out of his head? No, it just goes... <laughs> All I hear is an echoed shot. I oh, know, but w- once the bullet hits, he's like... Scrambled egg, anyone? Nah. It's just like 
I, I think it's funny that he actually still has a career. I don't know how. Well, see, look, his career is based for kids and B movies. B movies. Mm. I wouldn't even say they're B movies. Mm. I'd say they're C movies at least. No, no, no they're actually classes B. Oh god. Yeah. I love the fact. Okay. <laughs> those movies are just so chock full of product placement yeah that I kind of sit there going I can't even watch this anymore it's just horrible mm. but then again you know all movies are they're just some of them some of them are less subtle about it yeah although I did like um, Chappie's use of the for the phone the <laughs> tower no no the, the tower <laughs> I do because not, it wasn't in the background it was actually used in the film yeah they, I'm like that was kind of cool yeah you um, have product placement but yeah it's used it's actually in the film like um, Transformers the last one I didn't see that no but the <laughs> Age of Extinction right mm-hmm. Mark Wahlberg he actually does a good, better ro- role I think than your man what's his name Shia LaBeouf yeah that's not too hard though no but it, uh, anyway uh, near the end he crashes it into into the ground and hits this car along with Bud Light of course a truck of Bud Light mm-hmm. smashes through your man gets out of the car and like I hope you have insurance mm-hmm. it's a fucking alien spaceship you have insurance your insurance covers for that shit good luck grabs Bud Light smacks off drinks smash mm. Honey, give me my alien gun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, it was used. Yeah, it was used, but you know. And I, and it was kind of funny as well. It's just like, yeah, the, that the, worked. The one thing that kind of pisses me off about Michael Bay is the fact that, yeah, okay, his films make money. Fair enough, right? The studio is getting the money back and mm. it's all being invested and the actors get paid. Great day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, but my my issue is that he's taken beloved franchises. Now I don't like Transformers. I don't like Giant Max. It's just me. I yeah. don't. I just don't like. What them. about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? I Were you offended when he decided to go for it? I was disappointed that the franchise let him get to it. I was disappointed that they were sold out to him. Do you remember the all CGI one that that came out there like four years ago, five years ago? The series. No, 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 no. It was a movie. No. It was all CGI. It was bloody terrible, it was. It was all CGI would be. No, 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 no. Even the story is just like... Ah, uh, right. Seriously? That makes no sense whatsoever. But sure, what, didn't he want to make them as aliens or something? Hmm? Didn't Michael Bay want to remake them as aliens? No. No? No. Oh, yeah, he, because he got shot down, didn't he? <laughs> no, he actually said he wanted them just like a uh, monstrous kind of... Okay. But that was the Huge. whole point behind them. Yeah, the the eighties cartoon didn't do the original justice. No, don't do bear in mind. Or not the eighties, nineties cartoon. I I grew up yeah, on that shit. Right? That was the future one, was it? No, it was the TMNT. All right, the original. Uh, I oh grew, yeah, I Frank Shredder. <laughs> yeah, the Be com- Bob and Rocksteady. <laughs> the comedic sort of jokey one. I I, yeah. I grew up on that shit. So did I. So, but I'm kind of sitting there. I read. Uh, I can't remember where it was but I remember seeing a comic of the TMNT and it was originally very dark like very grim dark I'm like sitting there going this isn't what I remember at all no 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 they really went just like right this is how dark things are we're just gonna go the soft <laughs> the fucking way com- way miles that way soft <laughs> If we're an inch too shy, there's a bit too much blood there. They were going ultraviolet, we were going infrared. So yeah. Good job. That's exactly the way they were doing it. But I admired them for it. I mean, it was successful. I, th- I thought that series was brilliant. Well, of course, yeah. You were a child at that point, so was I. Yeah. We were, like... I like, I, I even remember watching a few episodes of James Bond Jr. I haven't ever seen an episode of that in my life. No? No, uh, that one. I thought I remember watching a few episodes of that. It's just like, ah, it's kind of good, yeah, not bad. Or you know, getting up early on the Saturday morning watching Bugs Bunny and all that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, yeah. I remember watching them. All right, holy shit, I was years ago. Yeah, Elmer oh Fudd, God. all them, and now, and now, Lola Bunny's there. It's like, what? 
That was I think that was only in the movie though. No, Lola Bunny is proper now. No, 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 no. She at first appeared in the movie, didn't she? Yeah. Space then, Jam. Yeah. Mm. And then she became canon. Yeah. Well, if you're going to invest that much in a movie, I'm spo- I'm pretty sure any fucking character you introduce is going to be canon afterwards. But what the hell? I I I used to love Space Jam as a kid. I watched it. I, oh I man, was, watched it so many times. I think it was like two years ago, and I went, I used to love this shit. Oh, God. The fuck me? I think the last time I seen it was like five years ago, something like that. No, I kind of watched it, and I went, oh, God, this is aimed at kids, obviously. Yeah, because it's just, thinking back on it now, it's just like, yeah, this is definitely aimed now, at kids. speaking as a man-child, right? Yes. Speaking as a man-child, yes. I looked at it, and I went, I, I, even I don't like this. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I God. But what got us there? Looking at a few more clips from the next movie that I'm that both of us want to see next year, which is Captain. Oh, Civil War! Yes, 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 yes I, please. I, yeah, I can't wait to see that. <laughs> it's just here's the funny thing: I'm not a movie fan. No, I, I got you into that. Yeah, but it was only Marvel. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, I, I didn't want to fucking know about That's it. what I mean, like, that. I got you into that, as in Marvel. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was so happy, though, because it yeah. was a great series. Oh. I mean, great franchise at this point. Yeah. And they actually done it right. The way they're releasing the movies and all that, mm. they're doing it phase by phase, which is brilliant. Which is perfect, because yeah. it's like a comic book. Exactly. And, and that's that's why I think I like it, and because... It's, and DC is actually only starting to follow that bloody suit now. I watched a small bit of The Man of Steel. No. I just watched it, and I was like, do you know what? Fuck this noise. No. But, I, the, I went to the movie, cinema where one of the girls that I know saw and uh, watched it, and it was a good movie it was good but the ending was just like no I no didn't, I didn't care for any of it no and, and here's the funny thing they, they, I think they fucked with a major character in the they franchise did. Zod yeah, yeah they did yeah. they just but yeah no uh, Batman vs Superman I can't wait for that do you know Zod is back is he yes cool so it's are they did no hang on here's here's where I have to ask because you're a bigger DC fan than I am do you know if they're actually doing the ah uh, what's the fucking cartoon animated version of it the Justice League no 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 the Dark Knight oh do you know that one I'm talking yeah. about where uh, Batman is really dark no 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 um he's played by the voice actor who done Judge Dredd oh do you know that one um, where he's actually spoiler alert everybody aged on a bit yeah and he's actually um, older now and he's uh, he has to go up against fucking Superman yeah have you seen that one I have I think how fucking badass was that that was just like I, what you call it did you see that see that yoga put up on Facebook uh, Batman uh, versus Superman who'd win oh fucking Batman are you kidding me yeah but did you see how yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's just like well played Clark or was it um, Bruce well played yeah and it's just like melting just away melting, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I, I may that. not have any superpowers or anything like this but I injected myself with blah blah blah, blah, blah. so if I went into a fusion a giant fusion reactor or something like that yeah you know it would rain down radiation and here's here's the immortal line I have picked up from that animation and it was Oh my god, it blew my mind. When I heard him say, I want you to think of me in your most vulnerable hour. I want you to think of how I humbled you. I was like, oh my god. That's amazing. It was so good. It was so well done. And and I think the fact that DC missed the opportunity. With, with, with the Man was, of Steel. Uh, do you know what? One. I think um, the people who done the animated series was actually... It wasn't... I think it might have been Warner Brothers. I don't care who does right? it. I really don't. But. but apparently they're meant to be giving them pointers on the Superman versus Batman. If they do it like the animation, it will be fucking amazing. Yeah. It will be because one of the best films ever. Have you seen any of the trailers for it? I haven't and I don't want to. Right. But don't tell me about it. No, 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 no. From what I've seen of the trailers, the, the way they seem to be going... 
Okay. It's actually very, very good and close to the go, go, go. that. All right, no, that's right? fine. The only thing I'm a bit cautious about is Superman because they because of what they've done to him before. They might be doing flashbacks or whatever, and uh, his personality might change a bit. I don't care. Which would be just like no, but like that might affect the movie. I I see. I'd like to see the the more um, not heartless. Hmm. But apathetic. Do you know what I mean? Apathetic yeah. Superman. Who is there? Look, I live here. Don't fuck with me. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. It's like this place. This been my home. You stay the fuck out of it. My home. Mm. You my bitch. You go down there. You see, that's the thing. Like, I, I like that Superman where he's kind of like, look. I live here. Yeah. If you want to invade, you have to with me. I do it. Uh, Metropolis is. Bleh. Yeah, but you know? what to call it? If you remember. The way this Man of Steel ended, Metropolis was just like leveled. No, I didn't because I'd watch all of it. Right, Metropolis is leveled. Mm-hmm. Do you, he, him and Zod very end. Mm-hmm. He snapped Zod's I've neck. I've seen that part on YouTube because I wasn't asked. Right? <laughs> Do you know why he done it? Uh, because he knew he had to kill Zod. He's, he was the only way he could save the people. Zod was using his laser vision to hit. He was. He had him in a chokehold. Mm. His laser vision was slowly getting towards the people over here. Mm-hmm. So as soon as he saw that, he was going through all of his options. He was holding his head as tight as he could, so then he couldn't do it. But huh, okay. snap! Fair enough. That's why he did it, and he went against his one cardinal rule that Superman always had: do not kill. You know, because he was a Boy Scout in everything. Yeah. The I... only time he actually ever killed is whenever. You know, alternate universe or no, no, no. What's that one? He killed. Um, uh what's that fucking primordial? Um, Krypton, Kryptonian. Oh, uh, oh. You, you know the one that comes. Like, he facing in Justice League. Yeah, yeah, the animated series. Mm. Um, he killed him. Mm. He had to. Yeah, I mean, seriously. Yeah. Um. Then he didn't he kill. Fucking drawing blanks here again. Didn't he kill one of the main villains of Justice League? He's DC's version of Thanos, literally. Or not? That, it is Thanos, isn't it? Darkseid. Yeah, Darkseid. Didn't he kill him as well? He technically did not. Okay, what happened there? Um, Darkseid was brain controlling him, and he broke out of there. Ah. And his planet. Right, 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 right. Exploded. He technically didn't kill him. Yeah, yeah. But it is kind of his fault that he did die. Uh, fuck it. So, technically, no. Uh, and if you remember at the Justice League Unlimited, okay, at the end of that one, Darkseid actually comes back. He does actually, yeah, he and does. he fuses with Brainiac. That was nasty. Thanks to Lex Luthor, because Lex is a cunt. No, because Lex was infected with he wanted, Brainiac. He wanted to get back to Brainiac. I remember now. Yeah, the, I seen um, uh, the animated movie where. Bruce and Clark go to Darkseid's planet to get Supergirl back yeah. because reasons well it is his cousin <laughs> it is his cousin but still reasons Batman I don't know you know why I'm he tagged fucking, along but no, no, Batman's I'm just like Batman I fucking loved Batman in that one because it's just like yeah <laughs> imagine if all of your nukes went off here I know there weren't nukes but there were planetary annihilation systems yeah. and, and it was kind of like imagine if all of them went off here dee hee 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 and it's kind of like Superman I know wouldn't but you I know you'd do it and I, I just love that moment because it's it's again Batman's signature fuck you moment it's just like I'm not having any of this shit uh, listen to me exactly otherwise you shit be going down you go down with it bitch there's one thing before we wrap this up I know I wanted to get to before this this is over and this was um, <laughs> the rage quitting and stuff. They're bastards, for it. <laughs> Seriously, they're just <laughs> bastards. Oh, bastards! Why? Why rage quit? <laughs> Why? It makes no sense whatsoever. Just, you're, you're just doing it to spite people. That makes yeah, <laughs> no sense. The one thing, the why I find this funny is because you're compla- I know why you're complaining. But you're still complaining about uh, about legitimate strategy in the game. 
It is conceding. I know it's at the most inopportune moment for uh, the other player. Da, da, da. I'm there. My person is about to attack. About two inches away from hitting him and winning the game. No, I quit. <laughs> Couldn't wait two seconds. No. No. Quick. <laughs> I love the fact that if they'd waited as well, they gain more experience. Yes. I think that's hilarious because... Yeah, Everyone yeah. gets more experience if you play it to the end. But the, the the one thing I find funny is it is kind of a fuck you as well. Because they're like, nah, I'm not having any of this shit. I'm out here. If, you, if I can't get full XP, you're not getting full XP. Yeah. Pretty fuck <laughs> my, if I don't win, you don't win. And it's like, ah, oh, you're a bastard. Uh, yeah, but have, have you ever come across that lag point where you're there in the middle of a move and it just kind of freezes and it's just like... You're just swiping and fucking clicking with the mouse yeah. and hoping and, it will go. And you're there for about five minutes and it, and it's already gone past his turn. He's done stuff and the timer's now on yours. And it's like, what the hell? That's called lag switching. And that's pretty bad though, by the way. Yeah, that bad. happens. It, no, no, you can actually report... I think you can report Paris for that. Because it's a monetary... Or not monetary. It's a gained advantage. Yeah, because it's just... Through your own means. Yeah, it's just like, to, 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 hold on now. Yeah, I was in much. the middle of doing my move. How come that didn't... Oh, that's a fucking waste of my turn now. Prick. It's funny because I, I remember playing uh, a mage, another mage with it. Like, they lagged out so much that it skipped their turn. And I came in and played Deathwing and went, fuck you. <laughs> and blasted their face for 12 and I won. But it, it's kind of like, you know, guys, you win, you win. You know, you know come on now. You're not even, it wasn't even a fucking ladder match. It was in a normal casual play match. And uh, you sure, know. Look, some people are probably just doing it to try and get the daily achievements or something like that. You know, win five matches uh, to get this many points. Yeah. Which I think is a good thing to try and get keep people on. But for it has it has the it's... only things that you can spend the money on right now is the arena and packets. And most people have bought enough packets or done all the arena that they want to do so yeah, yeah. something new needs to come out yeah. like if they done the Ice Crown Citadel if they done each wing they'd be sorted I yeah. mean like each wing would be like two weeks each yeah probably yeah and, that, and that's and why spe- and when you're facing the bloody what do you call it Lich King you'd be just like the fuck how the hell are you supposed to do this because his special ability if if I remember correctly, his damage shadow was shadow trap. Yeah, no, no, just shadow trap on its own. That would do. It. Do you remember the whole? Uh, his damage was a percentage of your yes, health. Yes, it was actually. So I was thinking, you know, yes, you c- it was. You could only do capped damage to his life. Yeah, whereas he takes off one every turn or something like that yeah. automatically. That would be fucking amazing. That that would make it Jesus. proper difficult no, as well. Takes off two every turn, so you only have fifteen turns to win. And that'll get you to your 10. Ah, uh, that'd be... Oh, that'd be kind of squally. Yeah. Jesus, that would make it hard. That yeah. would really would make it hard. So you'd want lots of healers. So essentially 15 <laughs> turns or less to kill him in. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, that'd be cool. And I know some people would probably go... I know some people go, right, if, he, if he's got 15 turns, I just need to ram as many people down his throat as possible. So basically, possible. face roll hunter. Face roll I'll get anyone. Face roll hunter. Because they're you, the best for it though. You could do healer, right? You could do healer, but face roll hunter would be the most aggressive in that scenario. Or face roll warrior. Mm-hmm. Warrior the, to armor up. The warrior to armor up. Uh, Plus, the warrior yeah. has that creature that once you play it down, anyone with three or less attack gets charged. So it's like. Pretty, <laughs> yeah, you'd be pretty sorry with that, to be honest. Yeah. So, Especially if you play that and then the Kurabashi. Yo. Ah, fuck off. Seriously, Kurt, uh, he'd get charged straight away and then he destroys one of the monsters, takes some damage, and now his attack is up. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Right, I think this is a good place <laughs> to end our little session.